something in the box. I'm, I'm not even going to talk. I'm just going to open it straight up. See that? Can you see it? It's Nike ID. Boom. What a bang. Right there. So, I should probably tell you what these are. These are the Nike Lunar Epic Low Flyknit 2s. And these are an ID version. So a little backstory behind these. I saw a picture of this colorway that I happened to get. Um, and it, it was an actual colorway. It wasn't like a Nike ID. And then as soon as I saw the Nike ID came out, I had to buy it. So I put the Nike ID on, uh, ended up being $200. Now Nike ID is only $160. So I'm a little salty about that, uh, but it's okay. I'm also salty because they released the colorway about, uh, a week and a half or two weeks later uh, that I happened to get on my Nike ID and they released it as an actual shoe and that shoe is only $140 so I actually spent like $60 more than I actually needed to but anyways let's let's look at the shoes look at that. so you got some nice Nike ID paper so what you're actually gonna get in the box is just the shoes um, nothing else with it but let's look at them now, this is so clean. As you can see here, we got, we got the gray on the top, and we got a black, and we got the white on the bottom and a white for the sides of the shoes. All right, so we got, we have both the shoes here, and I will say right off the bat, these look absolutely amazing, almost better than what I expected them to look like. Uh, the back looks a little dirty for some reason. I don't know why that is, but it's still there. I'm gonna move this box off to the side. All right, all right, so as you can see here, the insole is Nike ID. You can see it says it right there, Nike ID. And then you cannot Nike ID shoes without personalizing them. So on the back, it says chase it because that's a little, it's a little model of mine. And uh, yeah, so basically what you're getting with this, um, with this shoe, is you have the Lunar Line material, which helps your foot, uh, just, it helps a lot of comfort and it's super responsive. Um, and then the bottom here, it has all these little panels. And then this is all supposed to, this is also supposed to help your, uh, just the running be super responsive. All right, so this of course is Nike's top model. Um, what you're getting is essentially a fly knit upper right here with the lunar lawn, uh, the lunar lawn sole. So you can see it's kind of, it's black right here with some like gray, uh, a little fade to gray. And I think they just made this look so nice. Um, on the back here, there's a little, a little gray thing and that's for runners. It's just a little flash and, uh, I don't know like if it's actually gonna be helpful. I don't know if car would see it if you're running at night. Then it also has Nike's Flywire right here, as you can see, these are little black strips. And uh, this is gonna give your foot a lockdown feel and it just feels great. And then I just love this silhouette of the shoe. I think it looks way better than the Lunar Epic Flyknit 1s, the, the first low model that they had. And I think it just looks great because it has the booty design, which is actually uh, where there is no separate tongue. The tongue is kind of mixed in with the shoe itself. Uh, this shoe is meant to compete with Adidas's Ultra Boost. So, and I think what Nike's done is great, but Adidas Ultra Boost, that's hard to catch up to. But I think that this shoe will actually uh, start doing good things in the future. And I don't know if it'll ever get to the point where Ultra Boosts are right now, because that's kind of a sneakerhead shoe and it's highly respected in the shoe world but yeah i think this is just a great shoe in general and great for runners uh on foot now all right so here is what it looks like on foot um personally i think it looks absolutely fantastic i got these in a size 11 us um, my normal size is a size 10 and a half um that's my size in adidas shoes and then some nike shoes as well 
Nike normally tends to run a little bit smaller, so I go a half size up for most Nike shoes, like I did with these. And I, I personally think they look great on foot. Um, you can see the Luterlon in action, kind of when I bend down here, you can see it folding together. And, uh, and then through the midfoot here, I can really feel my foot being locked down by this Nike Flywire. Um, it's, I can tell it's going to do a great job during the track season, not letting my foot slide around side to side. It just feels like a tighter fit as opposed to what I have felt in the Ultra Boost. Um, then this fly knit right here just feels great, very breathable. Um, you can almost see that there are some holes in here, and that's going to let my foot breathe very well while I'm wearing these. And you can't forget about the back. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's flashing a little bit. It's got a little flash from the little strip there. And then also I have the Chase It personalization in the back. These look great in my opinion. Uh, let's do a full 360. Now, if you're thinking about buying these, I highly recommend it. Uh, like I said earlier, you should go a half size up from what you normally get uh, because, but in general, I think it's just a great feel, a great fit, and a great looking shoe. And I can see big things happening for this shoe in the future. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, my unboxing and on foot review of the Nike Lunar Epic Flyknit 2, the low version of course, um, and this ID. Like I said earlier, if you're thinking about getting it, I think you definitely should. They look great, feel great, and overall just a great shoe. So uh, please leave a like, comment of what you think I should do in the future. I definitely have a couple more reviews for shoes coming in the future because I'm expecting a couple things in the mail. Subscribe to the rest of CRW Studios. Subscribe to me. Uh, just stay awesome. Let go.